Hey foodies, I have this delicious cranberry baked chicken for you guys. It's awesome for this holiday season. You can do it for Thanksgiving or Christmas. You could even do it for a regular dinner night. It is so scrumptious. So let's get into the preparation. So the first thing we're gonna do is season the chicken, guys. And for this, we are using ginger powder, onion powder, some garlic powder, chicken seasoning. There's gonna be some salt and black pepper and then some green seasoning. We're adding a little bit of oil just to mix all of this together. And of course, if you're new to green seasoning, it's a blend of herbs and aromatics uh, that Caribbean people like to use in our cooking. It's gonna add a lot of flavor. So just mix all of that. And then we're doing a whole chicken. Now, ideally you wanna remove the backbone. You wanna do the spatchcock technique. So this gets more seasoning in there and the chicken cooks more evenly but it's really up to you guys, okay? You can leave it intact if you prefer. So what we're gonna do guys is just massage all of the marinade into the chicken under the skin in every crevice. If you wanna make some tiny slits in the flesh to get the seasoning deeper into the meat, then you can do that. But just leave the skin intact. After seasoning the chicken, guys, I just, you know, felt like I wanted to add a little something, something. So I added some fancy molasses. It's just lighter in flavor than regular molasses. If you don't have it, then you can add a little bit of browning sauce or browning. I'm just adding this for a little, you know, a little help with the color. What we're going to be doing is marinating this overnight, okay, because we want everything to soak deep into that chicken so cover it up let it marinate overnight now the cranberry sauce guys i have some fresh cranberries and we're gonna be cooking this up on the stove you can do this the night before too but it's fine to do it the day of so into the pot goes cranberries we're going to be adding some sugar and then we're going to add spices and jam it's going to be so flavorful so this is some strawberry jam if you only have cherry jam you could use that too and then i'm adding some balsamic vinegar just for another bit of flavor guys if you don't have it don't stress yourself out just leave that one out okay and then some ginger this is essential though we want that ginger flavor in there here I have orange zest, ground cloves, and ground cinnamon. Then we'll go in with some salt. So we'll add some water here and we're just going to be simmering this until the cranberries swell up and burst. They're going to be adding lots of color and flavor to the sauce. And you just want to simmer it until the cranberries are completely cooked. And that liquid is going to be much thicker and give it a taste to see if you need more um, sugar it's really up to you make sure you stir while it's cooking because if you leave it unattended you know that sugar might just start to burn as far as timing guys i really don't time it i just watch it and just look for that kind of texture in the cranberries and then just keep simmering it until the liquid reduces some more once the liquid is at this consistency then you are good to go we're going to be straining off some of the cranberry just because we want the liquid to brush onto the chicken instead of brushing on the sauce with the cranberries so the cranberries themselves are definitely going to be served with the chicken you want to do that but we just want to you know remove some of the liquid because we're going to use that liquid to brush the chicken while it bakes so go ahead use your spoon to separate this from the liquid and then put it back into the pot because we're going to be eating all of it okay now when you're ready to bake the chicken you can do it in a baking dish if you prefer i'm going to be doing it on a wire rack and then i'm using foil underneath because this is very sugary so you know sometimes 
it can start burning. I have the wings tucked behind the breast just to prevent those tips from burning too quickly. We're going to bake this at 450 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. And then after the 30 minutes, we have the skin getting a little bit of color. So now we can brush on that cranberry sauce. Notice I'm not using the solids, just the liquid part of the sauce. Okay. And then later on when you're done, you serve up everything, solids and liquids with the chicken. So we're just going to brush on the sauce generously. Then we're going to put this back in the oven. But before you put it in the oven, change the temperature to 325. So we started with 450. We're going to be doing 325 now for 20 minutes. And then we're going to do that three times. So 325, we're going to put it in there for 20 minutes. Take it out, brush it on again, put it back in the oven for another 20 and then repeat the process. Okay, so brush on the sauce. We're going to put this in the oven 325 degrees Fahrenheit right now. All right, guys, so after that 20 minutes, the oven should still be 325. We're going to brush on more sauce because this is how you get your chicken to have that beautiful exterior. You have to put on the layers of sauce. And if the bottom of the tray is burning, just pour in some water that will, you know, help with that. OK, brush on the sauce, put this back in the oven for what? Another 20 minutes at 325. All right, now we are ready for the third 20 minute bake. Okay, so brush on the sauce, put it back into the oven for 20 minutes. Now I noticed that the sauce was just, you know, running down off the breast. So I just put a piece of aluminum foil underneath there just to raise it up a bit. That way the sauce can stay on the breast. I think I didn't remove the, um, I didn't flatten the chicken enough. So because of that, the sauce was running off, but it's good now. We tuck that foil under there, keep everything um, level and then brush on the sauce. This is going to be the last 20 minute bake. If you need more color, turn on the broiler at the end for about a minute or two. If you need more color on your chicken. If you feel like there's just one part of the chicken that's just burning too quickly, or browning too quickly, just tent a piece of foil over that part, okay? Parts of my drumsticks there were burning too quickly, so I just put the foil over it. You know, just tent it over it so it doesn't take off all that sauce and keep baking. And here we are. Look at this gorgeous chicken, guys. So see, the foil is underneath, so, you know, we have easy cleanup, and this is just so beautiful you can garnish this however you like you can use some orange lemon uh some fresh cranberries rosemary or thyme just do it how you like it you could even use uh parsley okay but that is it delicious cranberry baked chicken it is juicy tender and flavorful that sauce you're gonna serve it up along with the chicken okay Give this a try, guys. You're going to love it. Remember to check the description box for all the ingredients. You can definitely add this to your holiday spread, you know, with your mac and cheese and potato salad. Um, I had it with rice and peas. You could have it with mashed potatoes. It's just so delicious, guys. So go ahead and try it out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.